In this tutorial, we are going to see how to create a program using AutoCAD VBA. So first, uh, if you are in home, first click on manage and click on visual basic editor. So this window will be shown. Then to add a form to this window, first you have to add form. Then just click on this button, insert user form. Now this form is added. Then we want to create a rectangle to so we will have to take from user from user we have to accept length and width of the rectangle so to do that at first we will have to design a user interface for that so you can design a user interface from this user form one so for user form one in place of user form one you will write rectangle application then you can do that using properties window on the left by changing the caption property then I want to give a then using label you can write down what you uh, want to write on the user form just single click on in the label select and write suppose rectangle length then add uh, one more text box for width so here I will say rectangle width then I will resize it so that it will look nice and I will place it properly so that is layout then for uh, now message we have given so we have to take input using text box just click on text box and drag a text box so this is text box one and then one more text box for width so this is text box two so we have created two text box first text box name is text box one and second text box name is text box 2 you can also change the name if required then we will have to add button so uh, you can add button using command button click on command button and just drag it so we will give the name to it as draw rectangle so draw rectangle then one more button we have to add to cancel the program if user want to come out without doing anything so for that we will give it the name cancel so the now user interface is ready we will just resize it so it will look good ok so this is our user interface now after clicking on uh, draw rectangle what is to be done so just double click on rectangle to write the code for that activity so just double click on the rectangle so this command one click event is there so now I want to for rectangle I will need the at first lower left corner of the rectangle so before that to pick that uh, lower left corner I have to hide the user form so for hiding the user form I will say user form one dot hide so it will be hidden then I want to accept the lower left corner so I, I want to call it as PT1 then you have to say this drawing dot utility using utility functions you can accept user input dot get point get point then space then give bracket then reference point if you want to give I don't have any reference point so I will just put their comma then prompt so prompt I will say pick lower left corner so I have accepted the point 1 then from this point 1 point 2 will be on the right side I want to create a rectangle suppose if this is my rectangle then what data I will need so I, I, ca I will say that this point is point 1 so this point will become point 2 this will be point 3 and this is point 4 so I can say that key this is my point 1 so point 2 will be on 0 angle at length uh, distance 
so we can lo look at that point using polar point so here uh, I name that point as PT2 equal to this drawing dot utility dot polar so to locate a uh, next point if, uh, if you have the reference point and length and angle then you can locate the next point using polar point function so for that polar point is asking me the point so from PT1 angle is 0 degree and distance is store in text box 1 so for uh, to catch that value I will say well text box 1 dot text so it will catch that value and give it to this function so point 2 is located then I have to look at point 3 so point 3 will be again this drawing dot utility dot polar point so point 3 will be here so it will be from point 2 at width distance in 90 degree so same way I will define reference point is point 2 angle is 90 degree so uh, so angle should be in radian so I will say pi by 2 then value is in text box 2 width is in text box 2 dot text so here pi value is not defined so I will define that value pi uh, pi equal to I will just uh, start the calculator then just press the P so you will have the pi value just say edit copy and just paste here control V so you have this pi value then next I will have to locate point 4 so here I will say point 4 equal to this drawing dot utility dot polar point so this point 4 will be from point 1 at 90 degree with respect to point 1 so this is my point 1 this is my point 4 so it will be at 90 degree and at width distance so same way I will define the reference point is point 1 pi by 2 is the angle and distance is val text box 2 dot text so width I have, so I have created all the four points so now I have to draw a line between all the all of them so for creating a line you have to say this drawing dot model space dot add line then I have to give start point is pt1 and end point is pt2 so one line is created same way I have to create all the lines so I will just copy this and paste four times so four lines will be created so first is pt1 to pt2 then pt2 to pt3 so here I will say pt2 to pt3 then pt3 to pt4 and then back pt4 to pt1 so in this way complete lines are created then I have to unload this dialog box or it will be get unloaded automatically so we have defined for creating the rectangle same way we have to write coding for cancel also so just double click on cancel so for cancel you have to unload the dialog so unload me and to see the trial just click on this run sub user form here you have to give the parameter for the rectangle suppose width is 5 length is 5 and width is 3 just click on draw rectangle then he is asking me lower left corner and if we go back to AutoCAD so it is not properly created so we, we will have to check the coding PT1 to PT2, PT2 to PT3, PT3 to PT4 and PT4 to PT1 PT4 is so here we are written a, ref a wrong reference point for PT4 so for PT4 reference point should be PT1 so we will run it again and uh, the parameters we will be keep as it is click on draw rectangle and click here and see the output so here rectangle is created properly so in this way you can create rectangle same way suppose I want to create a circle at PT1 so that I can create using this, this drawing dot model space dot add circle so for circle I have to give center point suppose I give PT1 as a center point radius suppose I want to give half of the width so I will just say well 
text box two dot text divided by suppose for uh, two half half I will give then I will just erase all this now yeah, again I will load the program or run the program then parameters I can change here suppose I want six and four just say draw rectangle and cl click lower left corner and go back to AutoCAD and so circle is also created so in this way you can create program in AutoCAD VBA we will stop here